With the Battle Royale genre becoming increasingly popular, or let me rephrase that, with Battle Royale taking over gaming, it's no surprise that there are some people that have tried to copy the formula of Fortnite down to its core. Some blatantly, some pretty well, but you can't hide anything from top five gaming. <laughs> no siree, we see everything except for toy YouTube. We don't speak of toy YouTube and the atrocities that reside in that subgenre of the internet. Hey, have you guys seen Fred around, by the way? I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm not really too sure where he's been. Mm, yeah, he's probably just making friends or, I don't know, getting pickaxe to death. Ah, do not do this, I am Fred! Anyway, if this video gets 10,000 likes, we will do a special on the top five thickest skins in Fortnite. Also, subscribe because it's free and also because you love us. Number five, Rocket Royale. Rocket Royale, brought to you by One Ton Games, is a mobile battle royale game that you can also get on PC. Like most battle royale games, your objective is to be the last man standing, which still applies, but you can also claim the win by building yourself a rocket and flying off. Yep, you can harvest glowing metal found around the map that will give you cogs, harvest 100 cogs, and you can build yourself a rocket, camp out the entire game, and claim an easy win. What exciting gameplay. But the rocket seems to be the only thing that seems unique. Other than that, you might as well call it a Fortnite copy. It uses the exact same building mechanics, except it only uses walls, stairs, and platforms, plus the HP and shield bars are the exact same as Fortnite. They couldn't even go with a different shape. You can tell they don't really care about copying, though, as they've even recreated the original Fortnite Battle Royale loading screen in Rocket Royale style. It's an obvious Fortnite knockoff, but can you blame them for trying? One thing I did notice, though, that would be pretty cool for Fortnite was weapon upgrades. Would be interesting to see a customizable weapon system on Fortnite. Something similar to Black Ops Zombies would work out well. You could all go for the same weapon, but when you pick it up, it's unique to your preset design. Maybe you want a silencer on your scar or iron sights on your heavy sniper. Whatever your strategy is, there'll be a lot more styles of play to choose from and have fun with. However, even though Rocket Royale has got a fancy rocket and weapon upgrades, its overall game is just a direct copy and paste job, and don't get me started on the running speed. If you thought you felt slow on Fortnite, then Rocket Royale would drive you mad. The running speed is slower than Jeff's crawling speed after an all-nighter on the town. Number four. Respawnables. Like all the games on our list, Respawnables is a free battle royale game that makes all their money from all the tempting skins and accessories you can get. The only difference with this battle royale though is you can get different weapons depending on your level. The maps are way smaller and instead of finding weapons, you pre-select your weapon before loading into the game. You have infinite ammo and away you go. It's absolute carnage. At your starting level, you can only use an SMG, level 2, an assault rifle, and more and more weapons as you level up. Load into a match and attempt to get as many kills as you can before dying, but like the name suggests, you have infinite lives. Just keep going rampage, and the most points at the end is the winner. The only problem with this game is it seems a bit empty on the servers, with people struggling to get more than a few players in per match. It can make for the gameplay being too repetitive and bland. And then with new players only being able to use the most basic of weapons, it's a real struggle for them to get those kills against higher level players who have overpowered guns. Number three, Creative Destruction. Creative Destruction is a battle royale similar to Fortnite with its building, although this one is a little bit different. In Creative Destruction, you have a giant minigun looking energy based weapon called Destructor that you can use to dismantle pretty much everything in the map and also to build your walls, stairs, and platforms. It can also work as a backup weapon if you do run out of ammo, causing five damage to enemy players. The Destructor is pretty similar to the Half-Life 2 gravity gun, and it looks like some futuristic alien tech that seems to match the rest of the game's style, as the building in this game is pretty unique, or if we're being honest, pretty basic. The texture pattern for building is the same for all building types, with just a hexagonal pattern running through the build. And to tell the different strengths, a similar color change will do, but I'll have to admit, for a phone game, the main menu does have a pretty nice style and some great graphics for characters, but when it comes to actually playing the game, <laughs> the graphics can be really poor, although I will give them credit for the death animation. Oof. The way you watch your enemy wave goodbye before getting pulled up to the sky by balloons and leaving you a chest full of loot is a pretty nice way to go out. At least when it's you getting pulled up, you'll be able to see if anyone's sneaking up on the guy that just got you. 
Number two, Project Battle. Project Battle, brought to you by NetEase Games, is a 100-player battle royale for Android when exploring the scenery, your fields, and houses all look like your modern-day environment. But then you notice the character. He's more like something out of Iron Man, like a ninja hybrid. With this character, though, you can disguise yourself, swim, jump through windows, and even climb up walls. I can't even imagine how many people are trying to control all of that on mobile. The only things really separating this from Fortnite is the character's abilities and the energy-based weapons that dominate the whole game. An added bonus on this battle royale, though, is the vehicles. You can actually find boats and even a supercar to drive around the map in that look pretty similar to a Lamborghini. When you die or kill someone, it leaves behind a holographic package system, more like PUBG's death mechanics, in which you have to open up an item menu and take what you want. If you're feeling really lazy, you can even join Quick Battles, which is only 5-minute matches if you don't want to be spending 20 minutes plus on your phone just for one match. Coincidentally, though, Project Battle even has its own 50v50 mode known as Firewall, and it has the same building style as Fortnite, even using the exact same roof design. Project Battle is definitely one of the more unique on the list, but it just doesn't keep up to par with its slow gameplay and low quality. And as for the honorable mention, we've got Rules of Modern Survival. With this list honorable mention, we're also giving out an award for the best graphics on the Battle Royale knockoff game, and that award goes to Rules of Modern Survival. I mean, just check out this exhilarating start to the game. That intense helicopter scene, the seamless detail on the chopper, it's a masterpiece, ah, an absolute work of art. But in all seriousness, the only thing that gives any playable factor to this game is the slow-mo effect on killing players. Not bad, but these graphics make me feel like it's 1997 and I'm playing as James Bond on GoldenEye again. Don't get me wrong, GoldenEye was amazing, but that was over two decades ago. Rules of Survival is present day and the floor is flat and the buildings are giant cubes and the cars are oddly shaped blocks. The detail is non-existent in this game and for that reason we offer you this passive aggressive best graphics trophy award. And in at number one, we've got Forecraft. In the early days of Forecraft's release, the game was doing well, but everyone couldn't help but notice how it was nearly identical to Fortnite. Every part of the game had the Fortnite style to it. Even the building designs for the wood and metal were identical. Now, if you're wondering why all this sounds familiar, well, that's because a few months ago, on the 13th, we previously talked about Forecraft and the problems it seemed to be facing. It was taken down from all of the stores, and even the people that own the game seemed to be unable to play due to needing an update that they couldn't download anymore. Hopefully, there weren't too many people that put a lot of money into the game early, but now we thought we'd do a follow-up on this, and it seems there's some big changes that were happening in the background. Quite a few sources are saying that to avoid copyright infringements, NetEase Games changed the name of Forecraft to Creative Destruction. That's right, remember number three on our list, Creative Destruction is the newer, less likely to be sued, improved version of Forecraft. NetEase Games even got extra sneaky and snuck in number two on our list, Project Battle. NetEase have been extremely busy trying to ride that Battle Royale wave. They just need to be afraid of Epic Games lurking below. But that has been our list of the top five Fortnite copies that failed miserably. Make sure to click that like button if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel. Push notifications on so you never miss out on a future video. Other than that, we hope you have a wonderful day and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.